On a late fall morning in New Boston, New Hampshire, Hannah Phelps and her dogs are taking a short break. Then it's back inside and back to work. Well, for Hannah Phelps anyway. Are you watching closely? Yes, not. I make woodblock prints that generally come from paintings that I've done outside. I like to think of it as I'm bringing the outside or something special that I've seen inside. It's sort of like a photograph, but it takes longer than it does to make to take a photograph. That's for sure. Some of Phelps' finished prints can take months to create, unique in that her work involves both the artistry of painting and the craft of woodworking. So you painted this and you knew this is going to be a woodcut. I was pretty sure. Yeah. I was pretty pleased with it right away. That image gets resketched, painted onto wood, and separated into pieces. It's similar to the process of making a puzzle. Yes. Right? Yes, it's called jigsaw. And indeed, the intricacy and detail are amazing, even before the rolling and the pressing. Many layers and months later, we get the final print. <laughs> Phelps' artistic inspiration seems to be drawn equally from the water and the woods. I like being in the woods. I grew up in the woods. It changes all year round, but another thing that's really exciting about wintertime in New Boston, in the woods, is when those leaves that don't fall in the fall and they turn red and orange, and then the sun hits them and they glow red and orange and then you have this purple shadow of the snow behind them. And whatever Phelps paints, from the woods to the water, her trusty companions are right alongside, except when they're in the water. They come with me when I'm painting outside. They don't always pay attention to what I'm doing. They have their own agenda. They go swimming and check back in and shake all over the artwork and <laughs> stomp nice. on my stuff. And now you know the story behind the name of Hannah Phelps Studio, Wet Dog Press. Any questions? <laughs> Phelps has owned and featured a long line of golden retrievers and black labs in her work. Her current painting companions are two goldens, Coast and Measure. Ted reports they were exceptionally well behaved during the interview. That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Anthony Everett. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. See you back here tomorrow.